Hi guys, what's up? This is Shubhadeep from eGadgets for you, and this is a new Samsung Galaxy Note 5, the new flagship model from Samsung. Here I present a full review of the Note 5 after extensive usage for a period of one month. So let's get started with the specs. As already known, the Note 5 is loaded with glass and metal bill. At the back you can find a Corning Gorilla Glass 4. At the front also it's powered by a Corning Gorilla Glass 4. Then again the sides are made out of premium metal. As you can see the finishing is a oval shaped. It has a great feeling and also a great shape and a great design. Look and feel wise the Note 5 it is one of the best handset that you can find nowadays for any flagship models of any companies. As always the speaker grills are present at the bottom. They do give you a great sound output. Let me just show you one demo. But most of us, including me, have a habit of have placing the fingers of holding your smartphone just like that. If you just place your hand like that, the sound is totally blocked. But you just remove it and you feel and you see that it does give you a great sound output. So end of the day, the sound Samsung Galaxy Note 5 is a great deal. But the presence of the speaker grills at the bottom, you have to make sure that you put, do not put your hand anytime while the sound is created on. Just at the drop down menu, you find the auto brightness sensor present over here and the toggle menus are to a great usage as well. You find the ultra power saving mode, the power saving mode, the torch, the smart stay, the mobile hotspot, private mode, screen mirroring, pretty useful stuffs are present over here. Then again, on navigating to settings, go to about device, navigate to the software info and here you find that it runs on the latest Android version of 5.1.1 which is Lollipop straight out of the box. Differing from its predecessor of the Note 4, the Note 5 does not support an external micro SD card. So it comes in build with spaces of 32 gigs, 64 gigs and 128 gigs model. I have myself a 32 gigs model over here. Personally according to my usage, it's a lot of space but if you want to store your media files and put your music files offline shoot videos with 4k recording and all then you have to opt for a much higher space under 32 gigs the note 5 quite obviously supports your OTG so that way you get to see the movies or you store your important files or PDF files stuff like that in your USB drive and you can easily view them through the note 5 through the OTG support that it provides quite rightly so under the settings you find that you can play along with the display over here, the S Pen which we will dig deep a bit later on, the Bluetooth, flight mode, NFC and payments, motion gestures, the themes and the theme store to download your favorite themes. So that way you got a plenty of options and a plenty of things to choose from your settings and optimize your phone just as per your wish and your liking. The Galaxy Note 5 has a 3000 mAh of battery which is a skip down from the last year's Note 4 but Samsung on its release has openly said that the Exynos chipset that present over here does enhance the battery life hence they have opted for a little shortage in the battery department then again with extensive usage the high display and all the features associated with the Note 5 my impression is that it has lasted for a full working day on a medium usage on higher usage it varies but then again it compensates with wireless charging capability and also quick charging with the latest offerings on the handsets and also from the android markets and the features that this particular device comes along with fast charging is obviously a huge boost the samsung galaxy note 5 has a 5.7 inch of screen display it's nicely crafted as you can see that that ages also you will find that the screen space is extended and the free space has been limited as a result of which it's much thinner the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 has a quad HD super AMOLED display as a result of which the viewing angles are mind-blowing it's superb it supports a resolution of 2560 into 1440 pixels so that are huge figures and obviously it comes in handy while reading stuffs watching movies and it gives you a great feeling to your eyes additionally it supports a 518 ppi pixel density the color combinations the saturations brightness are just minutely crafted in the galaxy note 5 it does looks premium currently of all the flagship models available from any companies whatsoever the note 5 has a greatest display of all as and 2 benchmarks are just over here oh my god 
Yes, of course, the score is 61,170. That's mind-blowing. There is no competition whatsoever in any of the handsets that I have seen lately from any of the companies. If I dig deep into the device info, you find the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 is powered by a Exynos 7420 chipset. It runs on an octa-core processor that is clocked at 1.5 GHz. It has a 4 gigs of RAM. So those are wonderful figures. The Samsung Galaxy Note 5 provides you a benchmark of performance. It never lacks. It just outperforms and even gives you the option to add more and get that extra bit of effort and extra bit of thing out of your Samsung Galaxy Note 5. It's a mind-blowing handset. The Samsung Galaxy Note 5 outperforms even while playing games. It has a 5.7 inch of screen. It has a Quad HD Super AMOLED screen. It has 4 gigs of RAM, a great processor and to combine with it, a greatest chipset from Samsung. So it never heats, never warms. It has a pure metal body, a pure finish of glass and metal blended perfectly that feels great to your hand. It never lags. Whatever task you throw at it, it just outperforms and it just gives you the impression that of course you do have a premium handset, a flagship handset by all standards whatsoever from the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Speaking of a Note handset, you must be excited to know about the stylus. What Note 5 has done is that they have included a very great stylus. You just need to click it over here and the stylus pen just comes out just like, like that. Not only that, it also have a new user interface for the stylus pen. And of course it has some of the wonderful features to go along with it. For example, if I go to screen right, if I go to scroll capture, it will just capture your full screen with capture more options. So using this particular feature, you can take a screenshot of your entire website or your entire page at one go. Just when you make sure that you are done, you press on done and that particular screenshot is taken in a single piece over here. As you can see, it asks me to save in the gallery also. It has taken a full screenshot of the full page from the website. So it's a cool feature. Over here, it gives you the option to add more of the shortcuts, whatever preferable or you want to add with the stylus pen option over here. Depends upon you. Another great implementation of the stylus is that when your phone is locked and you just pull out the stylus pen like that, you get to write on this particular device. As you can see, it's so wonderfully crafted and so wonderfully implemented in the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Not only that, you can take a note and just save it over there. So once you switch on your device, you just go to swipe down and you see the screen off memo. It comes like that and you get to save it over here also additionally. It's a cool feature, a great feature. I liked it a lot. This does adds up the value of a Note handset whatsoever. The Samsung Galaxy Note 5, as is obvious with the latest handset from Samsung Galaxy nowadays, it's powered by the latest touch face UI. So as a result of which you do not get a cluster of apps. You only get those particular apps that are quite useful for you. Like the Microsoft apps. You also get the Google folders, Galaxy apps. And most importantly, there is a smart manager. So you get to optimize your battery, the storage, the RAM, the device security by using CleanAll. So it's a great, wonderful feature, wonderful additions. Additionally, you can just go ahead and use your device for multitasking ability as well. Like for you over here as I see that I can divide the screen into two halves and I just navigate to one half with one option and another half with another option. So each and everything multitasking does add to a great deal, a great extent in the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. These are some of the great wonderful latest features that has been thought of and has been implemented. The Samsung Galaxy Note 5 is obviously powered by the finger sensors as well. Just need to place your finger and it will open from the lock screen as well. Now, the most important aspect obviously comes with the camera. It has a 16 megapixel shooter at the back with LED flash. The front camera is a bump up from the previous model up to 5 megapixel. Additionally, the back camera has an aperture of f by 1.9. So, in a way, it does represent Samsung Galaxy S6. Even in the mode, you find the auto, the pro mode, which is a latest train going on in some of the premium Samsung Galaxy handsets. Using the pro mode, you get to optimize a lot of options to take your photographs. But then again, it's a personal choice as I prefer to go with the auto mode as well. Occasionally, I use a pro mode. You get the selective focus, panorama, video collage, live broadcast, slow motion, fast motion, virtual shot, and download all the other modes. 
live broadcast is something interesting where you can go live using this particular feature once you're connected to the internet let me just guide you through some of the pictures i have taken using the samsung galaxy note 5 it will just blow your mind off these are some of the greatest pictures some of the greatest depictions that i have seen in the camera in a long long time my personal opinion is that the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 is the best handset with regards to camera that is available in any of the devices whatsoever currently. You can see that the color contrast, the saturation levels are so perfect. The objects appear so bright, so clear. This is something interesting. This picture was shot in complete darkness. You can see the power of the LED flash and all the other features that are loaded in the camera of the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. The front camera is a pure delight. 5 megapixel shooter and such a wonderful camera I have never seen in any handset for a long long period of time. It's awesome. See this particular selfie. It just came out so great. It's a great feeling using the camera of the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. As far as my verdict goes, for the Samsung Galaxy Note 5, it's loaded with features, it's loaded with functionalities, it's loaded with performance, but still it has its share of pros and cons. The most primary complaint that I have of the Note 5 is due to the presence of a glass on the front as well as at the back. It acts as a finger magnet. You can get impressions of your fingers each and every time you use this particular handset and as a result of which it does look a bit dull but then again the presence of this particular corner glass 4 makes sure that the, that the entire handset is scratch proof but it makes it a lot slippery mind you it has even slipped out of my pocket while driving my car once or twice so that way I think that obviously implementations of a latest technology they have skimmed a lot but you can get rid of the fact by using a skin at the back then you can get a texture, you can get a grip of your Samsung Galaxy Note 5. The stylus pen is mind-blowing. It has loads of features with it. Truly and quite understandably, it depicts its name of your Note handset in each and every feature that has been loaded in this particular handset. Then again, it does not have the ability to insert a micro SD card. It has a non-removable battery. And for some unknown reason, Samsung has got rid of any IR blasters. That is strange. Although personally I have never used IR blaster even in my Note 4 for using it for any remotes or stuff like that. But still it's the latest implementation, a latest feature. Maybe they should have included that particular feature also in the Note 5. But they have compromised that maybe for the styling part. It's heavily styled and it's one of the greatest handset that is available off late from any of the companies. The Samsung Galaxy Note 5 is heavily priced. Price something around 50,000 INR for the 32 gigs model. But then again, it will have its potential bias. But if you are already using a Note 4, it remains to be seen whether you will surely upgrade to the Note 5 just of a new stylus or stuff, stuff for that. But if you are opting for a new handset and you want to go for a Note handset, this is definitely worth the buy. Then again, these are my opinions. Let me know your views, your opinions in the comment section below. Hope this video helps. That's it guys. Please stay subscribed to my channel to catch more interesting updates from me. Bye for now.